It's Jeremy Hassel here, and the GAKCity.com team loves to bring you guys the next big thing in entertainment. So, we want to introduce you all to MichaelJesse.com. Now, a lot of media outlets are calling Michael Jesse the next Perez Hilton, but in a positive way. So, we decided to hang out with Michael Jesse and his friends the night of his website relaunch party here in New York City. We first started out at his pre-party at the Hotel Rivington. They had a lot of drinks that were brought to you by Tycoo. Really cool drink company. It lights up in your hand, kind of like uh, Michael Jesse lights up every room he goes into that you're about to see right now. Now after that we headed to his main party at the Star Lounge in New York City and he brought out a lot of NYC's elite and tastemakers from models, celebrities, magazine editors, blog editors, website owners, uh, TV personalities and so much more. Let me just name a few. There was DJ Cassidy, Dawn Richards of Danny Kane, the guys from Making the Band Day 26, MTV's Real World Brooklyn cast, Tiana Taylor, and many other TV and film celebrities you love to see. Now they all came out to hang out with one guy, Micah Jesse. Let's go find out what's going on with him. Micah Jesse, Hi. what's up? Hi, love you. <laughs> what is the reason that you and I are hanging out tonight? Well, I'm so excited to announce the relaunch of MicahJesse.com. I'm quenching your thirst for amazingness tonight. There's going to be guests from New York City that are so fabulous, whether it be celebrities, publicists, editors, socialites, and just my closest friends coming to celebrate my website relaunch. I'm so excited. This is something that I've never, I never could have imagined. I started my website by Googling the word blog. And, and, I, and I can't even fathom what has come tonight. And I'm so excited to be sharing my night with Zara Therese, who's one of the most up and coming handbag designers in fashion right now. She's featured in this week's issue of Life and Style magazine as their bag of the week. Did we celebrate yet together? Yes, we did. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I know, I missed it. What is MicahJesse.com? MicahJesse.com is a celebrity and lifestyle blog that, you know, focuses on positivity. So what, what let me talk about this. How do you decide which events you want to cover and put on your site? Well, I really base, uh, base it on amazingness. If it sounds amazing to me, I'm there. If it's not, I'm not there. Okay. I'm not there. And, you know, I'm not invited to every single event in the city, and that's fine. You should invite me. You should invite me. Celebs love Micah Jesse. I have over 100 celebrities on there from Rihanna to Mariah Carey to Sarah Jessica Parker leaving the Madison Square Garden to Ed Westwick from Gossip Girl. Some of the celebrities that people dream about seeing and I feel comfortable talking to them because I don't put them on a different pedestal than me. I want to know what, what charities they're working on. I want to know that they dress themselves. I want to know that they did their own makeup. That's cool to me. Hey, this is Selma Blair. I'm like Burp. at jessie.com. <laughs> so I see a lot of celebrities in your site and you got a lot of traffic. How did you even get started? Well, I started off, um, you know, I moved to New York for my freshman year of college at Hofstra University. I met a girl that took me out in New York City and kind of, I was like kind of a tag along, but, you know, I went to some of the most exclusive venues that I would read in, you know, Us Weekly or Entertainment Weekly. And I was feeling super fabulous and people said, wow, you're having these awesome experiences, you should write about it. I never thought of myself as a writer. I always thought of myself as just kind of, you know, a social entity that, you know, added to the party scene. But then I found out that, you know, the blog was free, it was easy to start. I just started writing. And from what it started as to what it's become today is unbelievable. Jesse, I love MichaelJesse.com. Absolutely. Looking at your site and everything, what was the first big post you got to get you all that traffic and come in like that? Oh my goodness. Um, Probably Nicole Richie and Mary Kate Olsen humping on the floor of Bungalow 8. <laughs> um, I think that was something that people found really interesting. Um, something that a lot of bloggers and people that are in the social scene don't really get to experience is, you know, getting behind the velvet ropes of places like Bungalow 8 and Double 7 and, you know, places, newer places like One Oak and Rose Bar. You know, I'm, I feel super lucky to be able to be invited to these kind of places. And I give people a realistic, positive outlook on what occurred every night that I experience whatever I experience. MikeAndJesse.com, I'm Richie Rich, and I love it, love it, honey, honey. honey. Shut it down. Yeah. Now, before yeah. shutting it down, let's go like this. What is, like, your daily lifestyle? What is like? What time do you wake up? What kind of cereal do you eat? What do you do? Okay, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I have 
serious anxiety sometimes, so my anxiety wakes me up. I'm up probably around 8.30 a.m. and I'm checking all the blogs. All right. I want to know what everybody's talking about. I check Hot Bites, Perez Hilton, lovebscott.com, AOL, CNN. I check every single blog. I check Jazzine's MySpace. I check DJ Cassidy's MySpace. I check O'Neill McKnight's MySpace. I have a list of things that I check on a daily basis so that I'm constantly keeping up with what people are doing, what people are up to, and what they're up to next. What celebrity surprised you when you talked to them off camera, around somewhere, and they gave you a cool story or made you think? Mariah Carey was, was an amazing person for me. I, you know, I had a friend that knew her personally and knew that I was a huge fan of hers. In middle school, I performed her song Hero for a school, sal school talent show. And I told her, I, I, I held her hand and, she, and I said, you know, I told her I performed it for my school talent show and it meant so much to me and it was a song that really helped me get through a lot of hard times. And she said, honey, I wrote that in my womb. He's like like my right hand man pretty much out here. Like we look out for each other. Like it's just seriously more of a personal thing, me and him. Like it's 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 been great. What are we like, gonna see next from you? TV. Uh oh. No, tell them. TV. <laughs> And my site features amazingness. And something that I deem amazing is Zara Therese. It's one of the many things that I deem to be fabulous, entertaining, something that is a lifestyle brand that embodies amazingness. And I'm so happy to share this night with her. I Aww, swear to God, I'm gonna. So you see, this is positivity. Yeah. This is real. This is honest. And with Micah Jesse, everything's always fun. And I wanna talk about where's the. Hold up, stay right there. What is this? It lights up when I hold it. What's going Thank on here? You is my favorite beverage. Okay. It, <laughs> okay. You can drink it on the rocks. It's the healthiest form of liquor you can drink because it comes from soju berries and uh, it's an Asian citrus liqueur and it looks really cool. Oh, and it's the whole art of drinking. If you can watch this, when it's sitting down, it doesn't light up, but it's the whole art of you know, picking up the bottle and, and really enjoying it. So I love to have it with me at all times. Um, and I'm happy to have it here with me right now. <laughs> I can I see. Light up the room. <laughs> and what's cool is that this is the beginning of the night. We're about to go to the party. This is going to get very interesting. You guys stay tuned.